Christ Mass by Styley W. Hayward D.D. Official Disclaimer by Styley William Hayward D.D. This is not a message for the unsaved. This is a message only for the saved, born-again Christians. They should and all should hear. Growing in the Lord requires facing truths, one of which is that paganism has infiltrated the church. If you desire the Lord God to be blessed and pleased with you. Revelation 18 verse 4 And I heard another voice from heaven, saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. 2 Corinthians 6 verse 17 Wherefore come out from among them, and be ye separate, saith the Lord. And touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. We have always done it, or tradition, or my church does it, but would you jump off the cliff? If your church did it? Some church activities, entertainment, and events are sinful, but not all. In my Christian life, my first goal is to teach the lost about Jesus. Second, rather than suffering losses. Christians should be encouraged to improve and receive more rewards. I ask you to review and, in prayer, listen to the following presentation and see where God, not Satan, the world, or men, leads you, but where would God have you? On Christmas. Will a man go to hell over Christmas? The answer is no. But it is not well-pleasing to Jesus and, if continued by Christians, will be a loss at the judgment seat of Christ. You will find that Christmas is a sin. The month of December is said to be the month in which Jesus was born, and the date of his birth is December 25th. Is this a true statement? What proof do we have that we could give to any judge in any legal system in the world? Is it a Christian holiday? Is it, or could it be paganism? Christ and Mass are the two root words of Christmas. Both are recognizable. Christ, as in Jesus Christ. Can we connect Jesus Christ to the Mass, which belongs to the Catholic Church? Is there a genuine relationship between Christ and the Mass in the Catholic Church? Which incorporates prayers for the dead, elaborate liturgies, transubstantiation rites and popes? The date of Jesus' birth, December 25th, is controversial. We know it is not the date of Jesus' birth. But we still celebrate it, your Baptist pastor and preacher will say. When Jesus was born. Luke 2 verse 8, And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. Shepherds in the country did not do this in the dead of winter. Adam Clark as these shepherds had not yet brought home their flocks, it is a presumptive argument that October had not yet commenced and that, consequently, our Lord was not born on the 25th of December. When no flocks were out in the fields, on this ground the nativity in December should be given up. Brrr. The fall would be the best biblical season for the birth date of Jesus, though the date is never given in the Bible. The ministry of Jesus was three and a half years. This would put the ministry beginning in the fall. He was about 30. Luke 3 verse 23. And Jesus himself began to be about 30 years of age, the age for a male to minister, in the Bible is found in Numbers 4 colon 3 from 30 years old and upward even until 50 years old, all that enter into the host. To do the work in the tabernacle of the congregation. Jesus was crucified in the spring, the Passover, John 18 verse 39. But ye have a custom, that I should release unto you one at the Passover, will ye therefore that I release unto you the king of the Jews? If he turned 30 in the fall, then his birth date would have been in the fall. Joseph and Mary traveled to Bethlehem to be taxed when Jesus was born, Luke 2 verses 1 to 5. 
Taxation in the winter is not documented in history. Taxation, by logic, at the end of the harvest period. This could have been the Feast of Tabernacles, which took place at the end of the harvest season, Jewish, not Roman. Also, the reason we read Luke 2 verse 7 is that there was no room in the inn for them. According to Josephus, the usual population of Jerusalem was 120,000 people, with up to 2 million people present during the feasts. Because of taxation and the Jewish feast, there was no place for Jesus in Jerusalem and the surrounding cities, including Bethlehem. Having Joseph and Mary gone to Bethlehem to be taxed, and to attend the Feast of Tabernacles, which they did attend, Luke 2 verse 41. Then Jesus would have been born in the fall. Alright, I'm telling you this for the last time. Read my lips. No new taxes. 2 Timothy 4 verses 3 to 4 For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust shall they keep to themselves teachers, having itching ears, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth, and shall be turned unto fables. The fact that Jesus Christ was born and that he was born of a virgin is more important than the date of his birth. In the early church, Christians commemorated Jesus' death rather than his birth, 1 Corinthians 11 verse 26. The Catholic Cyclopedia, Christmas was not among the earliest festivals of the church. Irenaeus and Tertullian omit it from their list of feasts. When the churches did begin to celebrate the birth date of Jesus, there was much debate on the date. The Roman Church in the 4th century began to fix December 25th as the chosen date. It was decreed in the 5th century that December 25th, the Roman Church's date of Jesus' birth, be fixed for all time. It's worth noting that the Roman Feast of the Birth of Soul, one of the numerous names for the Sun God, falls on December 25th. Fraser says, the largest pagan, I said pagan, religious cult which fostered the celebration of December 25th is a holiday throughout the Roman and Greek worlds was the pagan, I said pagan, worship, Mithraism. This winter festival was called the Nativity, the Nativity, the Nativity of the Sun. Was the Roman Church's choice of December 25th based on this paganism, pagan festival? Let us consult the Catholic Encyclopedia for more information. The well-known solar feast of Natalie's Invicti, the nativity of the unconquered sun celebrated on December 25th, has a strong claim on the responsibility for our December date. The Christianized pagan solar festival was done in Rome, and one would think there would be confusion. 1 Corinthians 14 verse 33 for God is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all churches of the saints. Some people believe Jesus was Sol. Sol was the Roman pagan sun god. There was confusion between Jesus and Sol. I assume Bible believers are not pagan followers. Tertullian had to decipher Jesus from Sol. That Sol was not a Christian god. Augustine declared that any relationship between Jesus and soul was incorrect and vain. Pope Leo I bitterly reproved the solar survivals, Christians, on the very doorstep of the Apostles' Basilica. Turning to adore the rising sun. Ezekiel 8 verse 16. And their faces toward the east, and they worship the sun toward the east. What is wrong with this picture? Very popular was the winter festival in the past, in pagan Rome and Greece, in the days of Teutonic barbarians. In the middle times of ancient Egyptian civilization, in the infancy of the east and west and north and south. The period of winter solstice was ever a period of rejoicing and festivity. Being so popular the season was the winter festival and solstice became the Roman church date for the birth date of Jesus Christ.
Very many of our present-day Christmas customs are of the Roman church practices. The Roman Saturnalia. One speaks. It is common knowledge. Except by the Baptist congregations and leaders. That much of our association with the Christmas season, the holidays. The giving of presents and the general feeling of geniality is but the inheritance from the Roman winter festival of the Saturnalia, survivals of paganism. Tertullian tells us about the Saturnalia gift-giving custom. The Hebrews were generous with their gifts. Giving gifts is not considered a sin. The Hebrew or Jewish festivities include giving presents, Esther 9 verse 22. Others think the wise men brought Jesus gifts, such as Christmas presents. This is incorrect and a major scriptural blunder. When the wise men arrived, Jesus was no longer in the manger. The shepherds arrived at that time, but not the wise men. Jesus was at a house when the wise man came to see him. Matthew 2 verses 9 to 11. The presents were offered to Jesus, not to each other, many years after his birth. Then there's the ever-present Christmas tree. The Christmas tree is a relatively recent concept with roots dating back to ancient times. Sacred trees have a long history of rituals. An old narrative about an evergreen tree that sprung to life from an old stump of a tree is told by the Babylonians. Nimrod became the stump symbol. Nimrod was changed into Tammuz by the fresh green tree. The Druids revered oak trees. The Egyptians held the palm in high regard. During the Saturnalia in Rome, the fir was to be ornamented with berries. Christmas trees are popular with Baptists today, and the Saturnalia tree was popular in ancient Rome. They're the same thing, paganism. In Scandinavian mythology, Odin would offer gifts to anyone who came to the sacred fir tree during Yuletide. Santa Claus is delivering gifts. The Christian source of truth is found in the Bible. At least ten allusions to green trees are linked to idolatry and false worship, 1 Kings 14 verse 23, etc. In honor of Odin and his fur. The Christmas tree is decorated with lights and bulbs for the sun worship. O Christmas tree, O Christmas tree. People kneel in front of the tree to water it, place gifts, and pick them up. Try not to bow down in front of it. Taking today's tradition of buying and decorating a Christmas tree, and what Jeremiah the prophet wrote. Jeremiah 10 verses 3 to 4 For the customs of the people are vain, for one cutteth a tree out of the forest. The work of the hands of the workmen, with the axe. They deck it with silver and with gold, they fasten it with nails. And with hammers, that it move not. According to Jeremiah, the people of Judah were making the tree an idol, and the workman was more than a lumberjack, but a former of idols, Isaiah 40 verses 19 and 20 and Hosea 8 verses 4 to 6. It's possible that the word axe refers to a carving instrument. We don't kneel down to it, a clergyman once said. Despite the fact that most people in homes today do not worship the Christmas tree, my response is to water it. Place the gifts under it, and accept the gifts. Is there no bowing to ornament the tree's branches? However, it demonstrates how paganism has infiltrated into our Christian practices. Northern European pagans were converted to Catholicism by missionaries in the 6th century. June 24th was a popular day for learning about these people. 
to Christianize these pagans after establishing Jesus' birthdate as December 25th and a six-month period from June 2. December. They, the Roman Church, chose a new date for John the Baptist's birth. There is no scripture to support this reasoning except Luke 1 verse 26 And in the sixth month the angel Gabriel was sent from God unto a city of Galilee, named Nazareth. Luke 1 verse 36 And, behold, thy cousin Elizabeth, she hath also conceived a son in her old age, and this is the sixth month with her, who was called barren. Except for the Roman church, no one knew what month it was. John the Baptist was born on June 24, while Jesus was born on December 25, according to the Catholic calendar. June 24 was a day of lighting fires in commemoration of the worship of Baal for the Druids of Britain. Other historians such as Herodotus, Wilkinson, and Layard wrote and spoke of different peoples in other locations who practiced the same forms of worship and activities. The Roman Church decided that since June 24 is John the Baptist's day, the people should have the St. John's fires. Christmas Christ The Greek word anointed corresponds to the Hebrew word Messiah, which means consecrated or anointed one. Our Lord's official title, which appears 514 times in the New Testament, it indicates that Jesus had been anointed or consecrated to his tremendous redemptive role as prophet, priest, and king of his people. He is the anointed one, Jesus the Christ, Acts 17 verse 3, 18 verse 5, Matthew 22 verse 42, Isaiah 61 verse 1, and Daniel 9 verses 24 to 26, who calls him Messiah the Prince, speak of him in this way. Origin of Christmas first recorded before 1050, Middle English Christmas, S.E., Old English Christ's Mess Mass of Christ. Mass. The Catholic Encyclopedia in the celebration of Holy Mass. Called by them holy, the bread and wine are changed. Into the body and blood. It is called transubstantiation for the sacrament of the Eucharist the substance of bread and Wine do not remain, but the entire substance of bread is changed into the body of Christ, and the entire substance of wine is changed into his blood. The species or outward semblance of bread and wine alone remaining. Taking the literal definition of Matthew 26 verses 26 to 28, and as they were eating, Jesus took bread and blessed it and break it, and gave it to the disciples, and said, Take, eat, this is my body. And he took the cup, and gave thanks, and gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of it, for this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many for the remission of sins. Whereas this is figurative. If it can be taken literal, so be it. But if not, then figurative. The bread and wine are symbols. Jesus never implied cannibalism. Whereas cannibalism is the eating and drinking of the flesh and blood of humans. Matthew 18 verse 20 is symbolic. For where two or three come together in my name, there I am in the midst of them. Is Jesus physically really there? Is the bread and wine really the body and blood of Jesus? In the Mass, Christ Mass, they say it is. So, after Jesus blessed the bread and wine, they stood there, literally. For one, no blood appeared until the garden. When he prayed, he did not disappear to be made into bread and wine. When finished with the cup, he still called it the fruit of the vine, Matthew 26 verse 29. Grape juice, the fruit of the vine, is grapes. Does drinking from the cup mean, according to the Roman church, that Jesus drank his own blood and ate his own flesh? If the wine did become literal blood, as the Mass and the Roman Church profess, the eating of blood is forbidden in the Bible. Deuteronomy 12 verse 23 Only be sure that thou eat not the blood, for the blood is the life, and thou mayest not eat the life with the flesh. Leviticus 17 verse 14 For it is the life of all flesh, the blood of it is for the life thereof. 
Therefore I said unto the children of Israel, Ye shall eat the blood of no manner of flesh, for the life of all flesh is the blood thereof, whosoever eateth it shall be cut off. Genesis 9 verse 4 But flesh with the life thereof, which is the blood thereof, shall ye not eat. Acts 15 verse 20 But that we write unto them, that they abstain from pollutions of idols, and from fornication, and from things strangled, and from blood. Leviticus 3 verse 17 It shall be a perpetual statute for your generations throughout all your dwellings, that ye eat neither fat nor blood. Leviticus 17 verse 10 And whatsoever man there be of the house of Israel, or of the strangers that sojourn among you, that eateth any manner of blood, I will even set my face against that soul that eateth blood, and will cut him off from among his people. Acts 15 verse 29 That ye abstain from meats offered to idols, and from blood, and from things strangled and from fornication, from which if ye keep yourselves, ye shall do well. Fare ye well. Deuteronomy 12 verse 16 Only ye shall not eat the blood, ye shall pour it upon the earth as water. If this is true, the Catholic Encyclopedia, in the celebration of Holy Mass, called by them holy, the bread and wine are changed into the body and blood. It is called transubstantiation for the sacrament of the Eucharist. The substance of bread and wine do not remain, but the entire substance of bread is changed into the body of Christ, and the entire substance of wine is changed into his blood. The species or outward semblance of bread and wine alone remaining. Then the Roman Catholic Mass. The Christ Mass, according to the Bible, is an abomination before God. This is why I do not say, Christ, Mass or celebrate the Christ, Mass. Read my lips. No. There is no evidence. There is no proof, data, or information that the Roman Catholic Mass has been changed in any manner, that the bread and wine have not changed, nothing. There is no difference in the scent, taste, weight, shape, form, or color. Jesus never appears in the hosts when some Catholics see him in their bread, trees, cream in their coffee, or deceptive visions of Mary and angels. In the box the wafers come in, under ingredients, does it read? Eggs, flour, salt, Jesus, red dye number 5. In the Catholic mind, it is God. According to the Pope, priest, Catholic, catechism, and encyclopedia. The same wine looks, smells, and tastes like wine, and too much Jesus' blood will make you intoxicated. In Latin, the priest says the magical words, hoc est corpus meus, and nothing happens to the rest of the world. But the Catholics eat and drink God. At the Council of Trent, a massive Catholic church orgy was held. The belief in transubstantiation is required for salvation and those who contradict it, such as me, are anathema. All non-Catholics are cursed by the Catholic Church. The clergy must teach that all components of the bread and wine represent the entire Christ. The Catholic Encyclopedia the dogma of the totality of the real presence means that in each individual species the whole Christ, notice they keep saying Christ, without Jesus. Our Christ mass study, flesh and blood, body and soul, divinity and humanity, is really present, been 2000 years. Figure a body would get kind of gamey by then. The priest sacrifices Jesus when he raises the bread up, this done in each and every mass. Seven days a week in every church and Catholic service, and the Mass is performed. Hebrews 10 verse 12, But this man, after he had offered one sacrifice for sins forever, sat down on the right hand of God. Hebrews 10 verse 14 For by one offering he hath perfected forever them that are sanctified. Hebrews 9 verse 12 Neither by the blood of goats and calves, but by his own blood he entered in once into the holy place, having obtained eternal redemption for us. 
Hebrews 9 verse 28 So Christ was once offered to bear the sins of many, and unto them that look for him shall he appear the second time without sin unto salvation. So, again we see the Roman Catholic Church and their Mass as an abomination. From the Bible Don't believe this nonsense? Then the Council of Trent declares you a Bible believer, a curse. While the Church would not have their members open a Bible, never mind reading and studying it. If anyone says that a true and proper sacrifice is not offered to God in the Mass. The Mass of the Catholic Church of Rome, which means you don't believe in black magic and Catholic lies. He is anathema. For the Catholics that believe, I think it's an enema. Guilt, 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 guilt. Christmas. Christ, anointed Messiah. MAS Mass, abomination in Bible. Another anointed one. In the Bible that isn't Jesus, there is another anointed one. Ezekiel 28 verse 14. Thou art the anointed cherub that covereth, and I have set thee so, thou wast upon the holy mountain. Of God, thou hast walked up and down in the midst of the stones of fire. There is an anointed cherub. Ezekiel 28 verse 12. Son of man, take up a lamentation upon the king of Tyrus, and say unto him. Thus saith the Lord God, thou sealest up the sum, full of wisdom, and perfect in beauty. Dotted is a being that is full of wisdom and perfect in beauty. Ezekiel 28 verse 13 Thou hast been in Eden the garden of God, every precious stone was thy covering, the sardius, topaz, and the diamond, the beryl, the onyx, and the jasper, the sapphire, the emerald, and the carbuncle, and gold. The workmanship of thy tabrets and of thy pipes was prepared in thee in the day that thou wast created. Dot it was a one-man band. Sparkled of gemstones, it was in Eden. Well, who was in Eden that is the anointed cherub? Let's ask God's word. Genesis 2 verse 8 And the Lord God planted a garden eastward in Eden, and there he put the man whom he had formed. There is the garden. There is God. There is the man, Adam. Genesis 2 verse 22. And the rib, which the Lord God had taken from man, made he a woman, and brought her unto the man. There is the woman. So, we have, the Lord God, Adam, and the woman, in the Garden of Eden. Ezekiel 28 verse 13. Thou hast been in Eden the garden of God. Genesis 3 verse 1. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field, which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, Yea, hath God said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden? The Lord God, Adam, and the woman, in the garden of Eden. And the serpent, that he questions the word of God. Revelation 12 verse 9. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent, called the devil, and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world, he was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. Revelation 20 verse 2. And he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil, and Satan. Dot and bound him a thousand years, scripture, scripture. The serpent of Genesis 3, is Satan, or the devil. The Anointed Cherub Ezekiel 28 verses 13 to 15 Thou hast been in Eden the garden of God, every precious stone was thy. Upon the holy mountain of God, thou hast walked up and down in the midst of the stones of fire. Covering, the sardius, topaz, and the diamond, the beryl, the onyx, and the jasper, the sapphire, the emerald. Thou wast perfect in thy ways from the day that thou wast created, till iniquity was found in thee. It is Satan. In the Bible we have two Christs. 
Jesus Christ of God, the Messiah of the Jews or Hebrews. Then we have 1 John 2 verse 18. Little children, it is the last time, and as ye have heard that Antichrist shall come. Even now are there many Antichrists, whereby we know that it is the last time. The Antichrist and Antichrists. 2 John 7. For many deceivers are entered into the world who confess not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh. This is a deceiver and an antichrist. And, Satan or the devil, as a Christ and Jesus Christ. They mention the Christ mass spirit. 1 John 4 verse 1 Beloved, believe not every spirit. But try the spirits whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. But try the spirits. Do you honestly believe that Jesus is the reason for this in full celebration, known as Christ's Mass? Given all of the facts I presented to you in this PowerPoint? Return with prayers and a review. Perhaps the Christ of Christmas is Satan and the devil, rather than Jesus Christ. Christmas or the Christ Mass has no place for Christians, according to the evidence. And participating in pagan rituals is a sin no matter how much you hide, cover up, or even close your eyes. Christmas is a mix of paganism, gods, and goddesses, as well as Catholicism. Even if you, as a born-again Christian, refuse to believe it, it is a sin. Judgment seat of Christ is coming. But try the spirits. Merry Christ Mass. Or. Merry Christ Mass. Yes, Mass is right, it is a Catholic Church tradition, not one based on Jesus or the Bible. Merry Christ Mass. Or perhaps it is Mary who is Mary. Mary is the Catholic Church's center point. Therefore it's only natural that she would come before Christ Jesus. My Catholic Church as a child was St. Mary Star of the Sea. You have Maryland, Maryland. Which is a Catholic settlement. Why not a mother goddess to placate the pagans, given their religion and the Catholic religion? Every Catholic church in the world is supposed to have a statue of Mary built for the congregation's worship. Mary is also mentioned in the rosary, in a prayer to please and implore her son to listen to her followers. Alphonsus Ligori, a well-known Catholic writer, tells us to address our pleas to Mary rather than to Christ. On this prayer line, he spent a lot of time writing of Mary. Was he a fervent Catholic? Pope Gregory XIV declared him a saint in 1839, and Pope Pius IX, Pius, what a joke, declared him a saint in 1849. A vision of a ladder for Mary and another for Jesus is described by Ligori. When a sinner went looking for Jesus' ladder, he was met with wrath and condemnation. When the sinner arrived at Mary's ladder, he was greeted with ease. He was welcomed into paradise by Mary. This is something that any Catholic, regardless of their status in the church, will affirm. They are not going to refute it. Just a moment, John 14, 6 Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life, no man cometh unto the Father, but by me. Ligori, the sainted doctor of the church by two dopes, oh, I mean popes, about Mary. Coming to Jesus is nothing but wrath and dread, but if he will pray to the Virgin, she will only have to show. That son, her breasts that gave him suck and his wrath appeased. What about the blood? Luke 11 verse 27 And it came to pass, as he spake these things, a certain woman of the company lifted up her voice, and said unto him, 
Blessed is the womb that bare thee, and the paps which thou hast sucked. But, what was Jesus' answer? Luke 11 verse 28 But he said, Your rather, blessed are they that hear the word of God, and keep it. Merry Christ Mass Why the mention of breasts? The pagan mother goddesses' idols and images were so prone to detail, usually out of proportion to their breasts. Have you ever looked up Ishtar's picture and her boobies? Easter is what you Baptist Catholics call her. Diana and Ishtar have many boobies or breasts. Pagan porn. Immaculate conception or was it deception? Pope Pius XI, 1854, the Blessed Virgin Mary, in her conception, was conceived without original sin. This immaculate deception brought their Virgin Mary into a closer realm of paganism, for the pagans' mother goddesses were also born of supernatural powers. This supernatural power made the females superior to humans and the gods. Mary floated from the Catholics to the pagans. The Catholic Encyclopedia makes a bold truth as to the Bible and the Immaculate a deception. No direct or categorical and stringent proof of the dogma can be brought forward from Scripture. Goes on to say it was with the Church a gradual development. Daily worldwide Catholics say or pray the Rosary, say their Hail Marys, Angelus, and Litanies of the Blessed Virgin. It's to Mary, not Jesus, Mary Christ Mass. It's not ever said. Mary Jesus Christ Mass. Mary listens to tens, hundreds, and thousands of prayers. Catholic pray to her. She must be exalted to divineness to hear everyone's prayers. Mary is a God and she is above Jesus Christ. Dot to use and abuse and misuse scripture the Catholic runs to Luke 1 verse 28 And the angel came in unto her, and said, Hail! Thou that art highly favored, the Lord is with thee, blessed art thou among women. Is there prayers to Jael? Is Jael a god? No, but the Bible exalts her more than Mary. Judges 5 verse 24 Blessed above women shall Jael the wife of Heber the Kenite be. Blessed shall she be above women in the tent. Mary was blessed among women, and Jael was blessed above. Oops. Miss that one. Mary Antichrist Mass. There are images of Mary used by the Catholic Church that show a dove over her head. Again. The scriptures tell us the Holy Spirit came down like a dove on Jesus Christ, not Mary. Mary did bring it for her sin offering, Luke 2 verse 24, and to offer a sacrifice according to that which is said in the law of the Lord, a pair of turtle doves, or two young pigeons. Leviticus 12 verse 8, and if she is not able to bring a lamb, then she shall bring two turtles, or two young pigeons, one for the burnt offering, and the other for a sin offering, and the priest shall make an atonement for her, and she shall be clean. Oops. Missed that one. Juno was a goddess that had a dove over her head or even on it. The same with the pagan goddesses Astarte, Sibylle, and Isis. Paganism. Are you sure Christmas and Noel are not pagan? Another Catholic miracle, outside the Bible, Mary remained a virgin after what the Bible says she had children but the Catholic Church denies as such. Bible Rejectors and Murderers of Christians with Bibles Fox's Book of Martyrs Perpetual Virginity The Encyclopedia Britannica, This is the Teaching 
The doctrine of the perpetual virginity of Mary was not taught until about 300 years after the ascension of Christ. Council of Chalcedon, for 51, that this dogma was instituted by the Church. Another Catholic goddess Mary, not the biblical Mary, was her body did not see corruption. There was no decomposition for there was no decay. About Jesus, the Bible says, Acts 13 verse 37. But he, whom God raised again, saw no corruption. Acts 13 verse 35, wherefore he saith also in another psalm, Thou shalt not suffer thine holy one to see corruption. Acts 2 verse 31. Dot he seeing this before spake of the resurrection of Christ, that his soul was not left in hell. Neither his flesh did see corruption. Acts 2 verse 27, Because thou wilt not leave my soul in hell. Neither wilt thou suffer thine holy one to see corruption. She bodily ascended to heaven. Jesus, Acts 1 verse 9, And when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of their sight. The Catholic Church makes and exalts Mary above Jesus Christ. Now Mary is the Queen of Heaven. Jeremiah 7 verse 18 The children gather wood, and the fathers kindle the fire, and the women knead their dough. To make cakes to the Queen of Heaven, and to pour out drink offerings unto other gods. That they may provoke me to anger. Jeremiah 44 verse 17, But we will certainly do whatsoever thing goeth forth out of our own mouth, to burn incense unto the Queen of Heaven, and to pour out drink offerings unto her, as we have done, we, and our fathers, our kings, and our princes, in the cities of Judah, and in the streets of Jerusalem, for then had we plenty of victuals, and were well, and saw no evil. Jeremiah 44 verse 18, but since we left off to burn incense to the Queen of Heaven, and to pour out drink offerings unto her, we have wanted all things, and have been consumed by the sword and by the famine. Jeremiah 44 verse 19, And when we burned incense to the Queen of Heaven, and poured out drink offerings unto her, did we make her cakes to worship her, and pour out drink offerings unto her, without our men? Jeremiah 44 verse 25 Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, saying, Ye and your wives have both spoken with your mouths, and fulfilled with your hand, saying, We will surely perform our vows that we have vowed, to burn incense to the Queen of Heaven, and to pour out drink offerings unto her, ye will surely accomplish your vows, and surely perform your vows. They made cakes, wafers, and they had drink offerings, wine. We see this in the very worship of the Queen of Heaven, the mass cakes or wafers and drink offerings which were wine. Jeremiah lived many, many years before Mary's birth and the Catholic Church. The queens of heaven were Ishtar, Aphrodite, Astarte, have you noticed the same names appearing, Venus, Nina, Christopher Columbus' ship, Sibylle, Isis, and others, including the Catholic Mary, not the Mary of the Bible. The Babylonians worshipped Ishtar as the Virgin, the Holy Virgin, the Virgin Mother, Goddess of Goddesses. There was a Queen of Heaven in the pagan world long before Mary. But let's bring the pagans into our church by mixing as the Baptist does today. To fill the seats we will give the world their entertainment with a Christ, Christ Mass, identity tag. One of Satan's oldest deceptions. Now the Baptists are doing it. I've been in their churches and left their churches. Mary's Assumption was Catholic official 1951 and announced by Pope Pius XXI. The Pope Piuses do not know their Bible. Saint Bernard, not a dog, speaks that as the apostles and people gathered near Mary's tomb and on the third day it was empty. Equal and more of Goddess Mary above the God Jesus. Why would not Satan and the Catholic deceive the world? And Christians and Baptists into a Mary Christ Mass? 
Now that Mary is sinless, virgin, and ascended into heaven, she is crowned the Queen of Heaven by the Father and give a throne to the right of her son, Jesus. 1 Kings 2 verse 19 Bathsheba therefore went unto King Solomon to speak unto him for Adonijah. And the king rose up to meet her, and bowed himself unto her, and sat down on his throne, and caused a seat to be set for the king's mother, and she sat on his right hand. Solomon that had multiple wives and multiple gods. Bathsheba had more than one child. Oops, missed that one. The Rosary and Mary. Prayer chain, oh no. That is the Baptist Rosary. Fifteen sets of small beads. Like the kind from New Orleans when women lift up their shirts to expose their boobs, at a Catholic holiday. Mardi Gras, or Fat Tuesday, or did you mean you mean Big Fat Buddha? The Rosary has an imprint of Mary. Attached is a crucifix. Prayers are said over and over. Matthew 6 verse 7. But when ye pray, use not vain repetitions. As the heathen do, for they think that they shall be heard for their much speaking. Heathen like pagans and Catholics? The rosary has come out of the field of pagans. Another obnoxious trend that goes through our research is this. Breasts, sometimes known as boobs or boobies. New Orleans Mardi Gras, where women raise their shirts to expose their breasts to get beads. Pagan porn is Ishtar and other idols and images with exposed breasts. It focuses on your Easter and Christmas traditions. Layard speaks of Nineveh where a rosary was used two winged females, praying before a sacred tree. Zechariah 5 verse 9 Then lifted I up mine eyes, and looked, and behold, there came out two women. And the wind was in their wings, for they had wings like the wings of a stork, and they lifted up the ephah between the earth and the heaven. Mohammedans for many periods of time have used bead string. 33, 66, or 99 beads to cite the names of Allah. Marco Polo, 13th century, the king of Malabar using beads in prayer. Tibetan he Buddhists in Japan used prayer beads. Astarte worshippers of Phoenicians used a circle of beads. Astarte a mother goddess in 800 BC. Their rosaries were even engraved on their coins. In America, it is called in God we trust. The Brahmins used a rosary-type prayer toy. Worshippers of Vishnu have their children prayer beads as gifts. Maybe a Merry Christ Mass gift. The Shiva prayer beads would reflect or announce the 1,008 names of their gods. Goddess Diana had her beads. Hail Mary. A Hail Mary pass is a very long forward pass in American football, typically made in desperation. With an exceptionally small chance of achieving a completion. Due to the difficulty of a completion with this pass, it makes reference to the Catholic Hail Mary prayer for divine help. Did you know the NFL adapted the Catholic prayers? The Catholic Church had conformed to the football games. Has any Baptist shouted or played or hoped for a Hail Mary pass? Catholic Baptist. No, I will not let up. Sin is sin no matter who is sinning for all have sinned, O oh, sinner, repent that you sinned against God. The Catholic Encyclopedia, there is little or no trace of the Hail Mary as an accepted devotional prayer formula before. About 1050. Hail Mary is repeated nine times as often than the Lord's Prayer. Mary is nine times more important than Jesus. Diana worshippers repeated their prayers over and over. Acts 19 verse 34, But when they knew that he was a Jew, all with one voice about the space of two hours cried out. Great is Diana of the Ephesians. We come to the end of our Mary Christ Mass study. I am hoping as a Christian you have weighed the evidence and seen the testimony. Christmas is not Bible, it is not Christian. It is a sin to partake of this pagan Catholic abomination. Shows you will reject or to believe.
The ball is in your court. There is nothing biblical at all of Christmas. 1. American Tract Society Dictionary. 2. Babylon Mystery Babylon. Ralph Woodrow. 3. Bailey. The Legacy of Rome Page. 242. 4. Clark's Commentary Volume 5, page 370, Luke. 5. Dictionary.com. 6. Doan. Bible Myths Page. 357. 7. Durant, The Story of Civilization, The Reformation Page. 749. 8. Easton's Bible Dictionary. 9. Encyclopedia of Religions Volume 2 Page. 77. 10. Fraser, The Golden Bough Page. 471. 11. Seymour. The Cross in Tradition, History. 12. The Catholic Encyclopedia. 13. The Encyclopedia Americana. Volume 3. Page. 623. 14. The Encyclopedia Britannica. 15. The King James 1611 AV Bible. 16. Uri Lynn, Festivals, Holy Days. And Saints Days Page. 222.